so this was a bit of a follow up from what I did last time and um, so last time I was looking at uh, the problem formulation which I think is the most important thing in analytics right and then once the problem formulation is done then you try and gather the data where, where all the technology comes in so I didn't want to talk about that I went to the third thing where uh, once the data is there what kind of data analysis one needs to do and uh, there are there are, there are too many techniques which are out there, right? And so for people who want to make a journey to analytics, often these techniques and the mathematical complexity, you know, puts a barrier. And I was just talking about what are the five or six basic minimum things if you know, you can possibly do it 70 to 80% of the time. And you know, just uh, looking at various models, what kind of problems they solve and why these are the simpler ones. And you know, kind of just get the audience you know, say that in analytics, it's not it's not a monster, you know, it's there are simple things. So okay. that's what I wanted to talk about. Uh, when we started, uh, we had a lot of interaction with the industry and then uh, the thing which we figured out what the industry wanted was that uh, you know, the, the, the way the client comes up with the problem, the language that can uh, formulate the problem and the language which the data science team understands is a lot of gap. So you need what is called analytics manager. So these guys would understand what is the team capable of, what kind of things are there and also be able to understand uh, you know, the problem which is coming from the client, how can it be converted to that. So in that sense, what our program has is a good blend of um, the data science of course and also the basics I mean uh, what you call the business the business fundamentals and I think that has been the I mean, key of the USP of the program uh, first of all recommending over the other program is not the right thing I mean I mean what I can do is I can uh, I can only bring out what is the key features of that and I think you know in this age uh, we are moving to it towards uh, something where uh, people have ways of figuring out what are their competencies and what is the competency they need to develop and then pick up the program which is suited for that so if you want to uh, become somebody who understands the problem can solve it can understand the tools and techniques to be solved it and have some hands-on experience in actually kind of solving it. I think the Great Lakes uh, program is uh, for those people. Domain knowledge. It's a very simple thing. It's in a way scary. I mean, if you think about it, uh, analytics have re replaced a lot of jobs, right? There are so there were things which, which which we could do it on gut feeling. We have we see we have seen that this is how things work and we try it again and that's how the industries were moving. And suddenly came that well, what you did we are not going to overlook that, but if data supports something, we're going to relook at that data. Now what is already happening is there is the next generation of machine learning which is going to even replace people who can fit good models or identify good models. So identifying the appropriate model or fitting a good model was a was a very important uh, skill for an IT professional. But I, but I don't think that's going to stay for a very long because a machine in its repository has all the key good models. So they, they know what is a going to be a good model. Only thing probably the machine can never replace professionals is the domain knowledge. That what looks odd because I think this is something look odd. The theory says something, intuition says something. So even if the model predicts something, I'm going to look at it all over again. So I think in you know, a domain knowledge is something people already have it and they should never give that up because there is a new technique. A new technique is to only support a domain knowledge, not a substitute. Well, it has been good so, so just like last year so you know, we, you know we get to meet a lot of people and then there are there are people who, are, who have a lot of experience and expertise in the subject and there are a lot of people who are uh, curious to join the field and so I think that this is a good um, platform with the um, with the kind of panels and the uh, workshops you have put in and I mean 
I started with a very basic thing on model and today there, is, there are people going to talk about you know neural networks and even other layers so there is a complete range of things and exactly what I was saying that people today can uh, pick up from the menu what is best for them right so and I think that is perfect in that sense it is it, something is there for everyone so I think that's a good thing and that's what will attract more and more people.